Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Here we are, seven days until Halloween. Oh, we're almost there, guys. So um, this is actually a kind of an unplanned tutorial. <laughs> um, I have other videos to record, but um, I made a project and I thought it was super cute that I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys and do a little tutorial so that you guys can, you know, create some too, because I think they came out super cute. Okay, so I was making rosettes. I think we pretty much all know how to make rosettes, um, most of us. But um, I wanted to do something a little different, and I created a uh, little, let's see, a bow wand. Okay, a Halloween bow wand. So let me just show you guys. It's this one right here. I thought it was super duper cute. It also has a rosette in the back, which, you know, you can do if you want or not. But... I think it came out really cute it looks almost like a butterfly but anyway um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and make this so let me go ahead and jump right into it um, so first you're gonna need a straw you're gonna need some kind of a die or you know um, a template to make a bow and this one's a little bit larger bow um, and I'll show you the die I use but in case you don't have the die the bow comes out to about three inches by one and one and what is that five eighths i think so it's it's yeah it's almost one and three quarters so um but yeah you kind of want a, a die that's gonna fit right you know um size wise kind of fit in with this um this die here and uh let's see the die is this tim holtz Sizzix, and um this is called let me see if uh it's on here and it is i'm sure scribbles and splat i love this die um but every time I put it away, I forget to use it. And then I see somebody create something with it. And I'm like, I have that die. Why don't I ever use it? Um, so I do love this. And especially this one. This has to be like my favorite one. This one and this one I think are really cool. Um, but they're all good. But anyway, um, we're going to use that one. So the die looks like this. Okay. And then that's what you're going to have for the back. Um part of your bow and then you're just going to put the bow on in the middle of that and super simple I'll just go ahead and show you guys how to do it okay so first you want to cut your pieces so you want to cut your bow now the way I did my bow do you guys see this overlay of um tool you guys know I love my tool <laughs> um I went ahead and Put tool on top of my paper before cutting it so let me just show you how that works so what you want to do is here's my die okay pretty you know good size die um, I actually have this digital paper that I absolutely love and it's a uh, from the polka doodle um, UK site and I downloaded it and um, printed it and I made it double-sided so that's the back of mine um, so you know, it's, it's probably best to um, use a double-sided um, paper so that, you know, you don't kind of see the inside white part if it's only one-sided. Um, so for this one, actually, I used a regular black cardstock. I think, um, yeah, I think I just used regular black cardstock from Michaels. And, um, and then I just put the tool um, trim on there on top so let's go ahead and do that so what you want to do is you cut a piece of course that's gonna be about the size of your die which is this one right here and then um, you're gonna take your tool and the tool you know is this the tool from Michaels and I like this glittery one now you don't want to just cut a strip of it because it's not if you're using this die which is the um, what is this die? I hope I wrote it down, but it's this one right here, Dear Lizzie Bow Die. 
and I even pulled from Erica because <laughs> she gave me this dye. It's super cute. And I think she got it at Tuesday morning, but this is how it looks. Um, comes with the tail, but we're not going to use that. Um, so whatever um, dye you have, you're going to just um, make sure you size it. Okay, so there's your paper. And then with the, you want to kind of get a, a pretty big piece here because um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't quite fit my die here, as you can see, if I just do it across. So you kind of have to angle it and go a little bit diagonal. Okay, so you're going to put that diagonally over your patterned paper, and then you're going to do that. Okay, and then you're going to run this through your uh, Cuddlebug Sizzix uh, Big Kick. I have a Big Kick, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I've already pre-cut mine. You're going to get this. And look how cute this comes out, right? Now you can, um, this is the time to go ahead and ink your edges. And if you're afraid that the top part is going to come out off, like, you know, come apart, because it's not exactly glued down, um, you can put a little glue here and here, okay? And um, I basically would just get your hot glue, and you're going to cover this part, so... A teeny tiny glue there is not going to hurt it because you know you're going to cover that up. And also you're going to glue this part anyway down when you put this together. So I would just go ahead and maybe just put a little bit of glue in those areas where you know it's going to be covered with an embellishment. So after that, when that dries, you know, that just kind of secures that you don't have to do that because... Um, once you actually run this through your Big Kick, um, the two pieces pretty much stay together, um, but you can do that also. And then you want to just put your bow together, which I've done here. Okay, actually let me just go ahead through the whole process of putting this together. Once you do put your glue and it dries, what you want to do is shape your bow, okay, because you want it to look like a bow and not just a folded piece you want to just kind of curl that a little bit and you guys know this trick we all do this when we're making our bows so just use your bone folder and you're just gonna you're kind of like scraping the bottom of it is what you're doing you're scraping it and curling that in so that you have this piece here and then um, I kind of just put that up a little bit, curl that out a little bit so that when I adhere it, it kind of stays on better. Okay, so then you want to just glue it, okay? Oh, but before you do that, you probably want to ink up your edges. So this is the time to do it if you care to do that. Um, so you can do that and just be careful. Just kind of be gentle with it so that you're not going to pull the two layers apart. But you can do that and I'm just using a little bit of distress oxide whatever pu uh, purple you know ink distress ink you have will do or you can do even a black edge okay but something like that and then just put this together so let's go ahead and get a little hot glue oh I like to put my glue right there and we're just gonna line that up And then we're going to do the other side. I'm just going to turn it over because it's easier for me. Okay, just line that up. Make sure that's lining up. Kind of hard to do this on camera sometimes. You can't see it too well. <laughs> okay, so there you go. And there you have it. You have your bows, right? Okay, so here is our example again. Next step we want to adhere the bottom. Now, as you can see here, this is pretty shiny. <laughs> um, what happened was when I cut this die, I was experimenting, not cut the die, but when I cut the paper using the die, this die here, I, I cut it with um, my, just a double-sided um, black cardstock and I put, again, the tool over it before running it through my Big Kick. And because 
it cuts a lot of it off. You know, you see how intricate the die cut is. Um, it The tool didn't exactly stay on there. It kind of frayed a little bit or it, it was just falling off the um, cardstock die cut. So um, some of it was left, some of it was gone <laughs> as you can see there's a little bit of netting here so all I did was I took a purple stickle one of my stickles and I just kind of stickled over it because it kind of acts like glue as well and so some of it stayed on and that's why this looks like this but we're to make it more simple I think what you want to do is just maybe cut with cut this piece with glitter you know cardstock instead and so for this one here, I just took a black glitter cardstock, okay, from, um, this one's from Hobby, no, it's not Hobby Lobby, but I think you can find this at Hobby Lobby because it's a doodlebug paper, um, glitter paper. Um, and then I just backed it up with another black cardstock. I think it's the chalk um, cardstock is what I did, so that way it's double-sided. You don't have to do that. You can just, if you want to just ink the back up, whatever you decide. But I like it double-sided. So either use, you know, your cardstock that's double-sided or glitter paper, glitter cardstock, and then back it up with another black um, die cut. That makes sense. Okay. So then you want to just assemble it. And so basically you're going to just do that glue that together so let's go ahead and do that I'm not sure if this is the exact steps I took <laughs> when I put this together because to tell you the truth this is kind of on a whim here so we're just gonna follow our example I think that's how I did it and it's probably good to have like a little craft mat just so you can <laughs> press it down and then you want to just put a little glue on this okay and just press that down and just be careful because the glue is hot and then whatever little piece is sticking out right there in the middle I just cut that off I just think it's so cute and it, I don't know, it looks kind of spooky to me <laughs> because of this. And um, I have to admit, I forget, and I mentioned it, I forget to use this this dye. <laughs> but uh, recently I, my, my BFF used it on one of her projects and she got inspired by um, my little treasure trove who made a project using you know this Tim Holtz um, um, die this bottom one here too so yeah that's how I got this idea and yeah so then you know if you want to stickle it more further you can or you can just leave it up like that and then um, we're just gonna put our center piece right here anyway um, let's go ahead and use this one right here this is a cute little sticker gem from Hobby Lobby. It's called Skull and, uh, ugh. It's called Skull and Crossbones with bow gemstones. So this will do I don't know, I just can't find the other piece that I was going to use, but it's fine. Let's make it a little different. Okay, so but you guys know what I'm talking about this um web here from Michaels. That's what I'm looking for. But we're going to go ahead and put this one instead. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully this works out. I think that's going to be super cute. Okay. So let's put a little glue here. So you can either use your hot glue, whatever glue preference you like. Your, um, I just kind of go in between. I mean, I kind of <laughs> do different glues, you guys, sometimes because... I don't know it just depends on how I feel okay isn't that cute oh my gosh look at that it's so cute already okay and you know you can just put this on a stick if you want now 
find your straw. I love this. The hearts. I love it. I love it so much. And that's going to go like that. Okay. Um, you can use a rosette. Now, these were leftover rosettes that I had from last year. I used... Um, we. Uh, this is a We Are Memory Keepers um, rosette punch, I believe. So this is my leftover. So since I have it, I'll go ahead and use it. And it's just going to cover the back part here since my sticker kind of, you know, goes over. Um, we want to cover that up and all that glue. So um, you can just put whatever rosette you have. And then um, it's gonna look like that. So isn't that cute? Now, since this is a pre-made rosette, um, you know, I kind of have no control of the backing here. And you see how you can still kind of see it? So if I was gonna do this all over again and make a rosette, I'd probably just um, cut up a smaller circle to put in the back so that when you put that behind you don't see this part okay so um, but since this is pre-made and I have it that's what we'll use so um, what I do is and I think I actually flatten my straw just to adhere this down just because it'll be easier since I'm putting a another piece in the back so just use plenty of glue here just to make sure that that stays down okay and just hold that for a little bit and make sure that that is straight okay make sure that your stick is nice and straight okay I'm gonna press that down a little bit all right so I think that looks pretty good And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this rosette behind. Now, like I said, I made this last year, so it's, there's some parts that's kind of a little bit, um, when I stored it away, I think it got a little misshapen, but make sure that, I wanna make sure that the nice, one that's not misshapen lands on the metal there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right there. So I'm gonna put some glue behind here so we end up not putting too, too much glue. Okay, we're just gonna put some glue there. And then we are gonna just adhere this down right in the middle. All right, you can press a little bit. Isn't this cute? It's already coming together very, very nicely. And see, so you have a nice, nice rosette in the back and a bow on the other side. So cute. And then the last piece is just putting your um, eyelash trim. And here's my eyelash trim. I think from Tuesday morning a while back. I'm running out already too and I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad you guys because, you know, I haven't seen it at Tuesday morning. But um, I'm just going to put Deb mind frame put a little glue behind I mean under just so I can stick this in there and be careful because this is hot so I'm just gonna use my little tweezer here and put that under so that I don't burn my fingers okay just let that dry and then you're just gonna um, there then you're just gonna kind of wind this down like so and you can put a little glue you know along 
just to make sure that that stays. I don't think I even put glue on the one I created first, um, but I think I want to do it for this one. Okay, so yeah, you just keep going down, and I just think that makes it look a little more spooky, you know, because it's hairy. <laughs> It's the hairy stick. <laughs> okay, that sounded funny, but um, there you go. Okay, I'm at 20 minutes already. I might have to edit this just to make it a little bit shorter for you guys. Because I spent a little too much time looking for that embellishment. And then, um, yeah, so just glue your last your end right there so that you can just cut off this lash trim right there and I'm just gonna cut this okay and that's it guys there I mean you don't have to go all the way down I don't think I even did I go all the way down on this one I think I um, stopped right there but see how cute they come out. I'm sorry, I'm not even in frame here. See how cute they come out? Look how cute they are. Super cute. So whatever um, um, spin you want to put on this, you know, make it your own. Um, you can do a different embellishment in the middle. Um, you can even use a different die over here if you don't have this die. Um, maybe just uh, a solid heart would also be cute. Um, but I like this one right here. You can put more eyelash trim right here if you want to make it a little, you know, even more spooky and um, if you wanted to. Or if you want to dangle, you know, some of the eyelash trim, you can also do that. So there's different ways you can do this, but embellish it. But that's it. That's how I made these two adorable bows. And hope you guys like it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.